Hi folks, in this tutorial we're going to play a little with controls, but before we do that let's talk a little bit about the structure of our project. I'm here having a, I have here a new project, a blank one, so if you notice here there is a little drop down and you can switch the views for our project. The pre-selected one is Android and it's uh, it's the view that we will use the most but you can switch to the project one here to get the full list of files that are are in in our project but let's switch for android now so on top here we have manifest file if we click it we have the manifest so in the manifest file we define our activities we define our uh, permissions for example if uh, I want this application to use internet permission I write here using permission internet uh, we will define our services and a couple of other things too uh, you can not notice that our app uses a style app sim but we will get into them later next one is our source with our uh, classes and here, here is our package name and we have our uh, main activity which is activity from which we start uh, adding stuff into our code here we have um, a test an android uh, uh, test uh, um, package but we will go into testing a little bit later here we have uh, a folder called a package called res and it comes from resources and inside him we have uh, one folder with drawable and here we can add different images or different uh, type of uh, like configurations for animations or stuff like this um, here we have layout so inside uh, our layout file we define the layout for our uh, activities and fragments and dialogues and um, I don't know rows in a list view and uh, if you click it it should open something like this next we have uh, one MIP map and uh, it is uh, recently new newly added and here are the icons for the app uh, next we have uh, one values and inside it we have some XML files containing some colors some dimensions and um, if you notice if you click one it uh, it opens two children of, of this one this means that if you look in the project view uh, you'll see that there are two folders values and values um, for a greater density devices like tablets so um, this Android view aggregates these views all together so it's simpler for you to navigate in them you also have a file strings.xml uh, and here we define the, our app name let's make it with spaces uh, also here we can add different uh, strings with different translations and finally we have our styles which can define uh, which we will define our colors and how our our app looks like for example i want my primary color to to be a little bit more uh, reddish i can easily do it also you can easily navigate from one thing to another holding control and just clicking on uh, whatever you want so it's really cool let's say you want it a little bit more red you can just click it here and it's it's a very intelligent editor um, ID okay so let's close here everything and um, as I said the goal of this tutorial is to play a little with controls so open our main file as you see we modify the primary color so this one 
became a little bit pinkish. Let, let's delete this uh, edit text. Okay, so you're already familiar with button and uh, this is how you add a button. You can drag and drop it every everywhere you want. It will snap into it. You can also um, make it uh, from here to fit the screen. And uh, here we, we will have, um, talk a little bit later about the gravity of the button. Um, now let's add another very used control, which is called a text view and a text view you might uh, recognize it from other uh, visual editors like a label so this is sort of a label and let's uh, name it my cool app and let's increase the size 22 sp let's change it the color And let's make it bold. And you can play uh, with other stuff too if you want here. Okay, let's put it more on top. Now another control. Let's add a checkbox, for example. Let's put it under our our button. Let's call it enable button. Uh, let's add the progress bar for example select the progress bar horizontal and make it uh, to match the width of, with this control and we can uh, define some properties here like max is 100 let's put max 100 and at progress here let's put it 50 Let's put the sick bar here. And uh, also let's make it 20 and with max 100. And you can uh, also control some padding and some margin from here. Let's add it a 10 dp margin. And dp comes from density pixels. If we play with controls and you want with margins, you you will want to use DP, but for text you might want to use SP, which is scale pixels. Um, let's add a, an edit text here. And let's make it large. And here let's put it uh, in the hint uh, your name. And uh, this should be it for now. I don't want to to give you something more because I might uh, confuse you. So now that we add these controls here, we have to be careful to define an ID for each of them if we want to use them. For example, if you just want to throw a label somewhere, you don't have to give it an ID because you will never use it. You just put it there and forget about it. But in case you want to change something for, from it programmatically, you want to, to add an ID. So let's give each one a, a unique ID. Mm. Main. And uh, it will prompt us to update usages as, as well. This means if another control, for example, our um, sick bar is connected to this label, you might want to to update uh, its so let me do to do this like this Cl uh, click don't ask again and click yes so if we go to the text mode we see that our sick bar is dependent on how it looks on, on its alignment to this label text you mean um, like this i i put it here i didn't want to make it but like this it came so when it prompted us to update xml usages as well if we choose not to here it will uh, 
be an error because it didn't update here with our new ID for our label. Some other stuff, um, this at plus ID means that, um, for example, if our seek bar is somewhere on top, um, it doesn't have access yet to this text view um, ID. So by writing here plus ID, we fix that problem. Um, but doesn't matter for now. Okay, so let's assign an ID to each of them. I like to put the control name like checkbox underscore and the activity name or fragment name. This is my way of remembering and accessing them faster, but you can choose an, another uh, another way of doing it. Let's put it name. Now let's put it uh, name underscore name. Now that we have a reference to all of them, let's get this reference inside our activity. So we have a text view, write here whatever you want, text view, and um, one more thing, if you want this to be accessible uh, in every method of your um, code, just make it public. So alt enter create field and it automatically creates this field so we have a button we have a checkbox we have a progress bar we have a seek bar and uh, an edit text so we have a button Very important to cast it to the right place, otherwise you get an error. In other future videos, I'll show you a way to do this much more faster with button name, but for now, just do it manually like this. Now, our very simple logic will be to enable disable uh, this button with uh, this checkbox. So um, let's say the default checkbox state is uh, disabled. Let's put it a little better. Okay, so the default uh, state of this uh, checkbox is disabled and um, being disabled, let's put the default uh, state of uh, this button. Uh, if I find it here, let's put it enabled false. Uh, just click it two times here. If you don't see it, you just go in the text one in here. Define it Android two points enabled false. So this button is disabled. This one is disabled. Let's get a reference to this checkbox. And uh, <coughs> how to listen to events, it's very simple, set on uh, check change listener, enter new control space enter, and you should have something like this, so let's ch check here if it's checked or not. So if it's checked, we will enable this button. Set enabled to else enabled false and let's run it. And as you see, we can play play it very nicely. Now I'm gonna show you how to interact with the other buttons and I'll give you a homework. So let's say you want to modify this text view. 
um, you do it like this text view set text and whatever you want here um, Uh, with this progress bar so progress bar you can set the progress sig bar you can also set the progress but you might want to use um, use this set on sig bar change listener new control space enter and here you will get a reference to the pro um, to the progress which is set. For example, you might set this text view to this progress. The progress is int, and here, if you click Control and P, it requires a chart sequence. So let's convert it to string. For uh, edit text, you can also set the text, but you can also get the text, and after get the text, you have to convert it to, to string. Uh, okay. Now the homework. Um, the homework is wherever I move, move the sig bar, I want to appear here my name, your name. Rus space plus this value here. So this is a homework. Now I'm gonna give you the solution. E but please try to do it yourself. So I want what is here plus space plus the value of the sig bar. So this means I have to set the text view main here. I get a reference to this edit text. Uh -huh. And just add a space here. And this is it. Pretty simple. Okay, see you on the next tutorial.